A flood wall built in Echuca is now dividing the Victorian town in two. So it's been built to protect homes from rising flood waters, but it also means properties caught on the wrong side of the wall will all be inundated. And to make matters worse, residents weren't consulted about the levy. Isabella Stavskowski has been speaking to some of the locals who have been devastated by this news. Isa, just bring us up to speed. Ali, good morning. We're standing here at Julian Marty's place. You can see that levee behind us there, that two and a half kilometre levee that is being built to protect homes on the other side and, of course, also the town. So it's doing an important job. But what it means is that these homes here are technically on the wrong side. And people here that we've been speaking to this morning, well, they're devastated. They say they haven't had the community consultation that they would like to. They feel like they're being cut off from the community. How are you guys feeling this morning? How are you holding up? We just feel like um, we're not worthy. We're not worthy of being saved. It's, I don't know, it's hard to put into words. It's, I'm devastated. We understand that there's got to be a line and we appreciate that, but it's still devastating. Um, you know, they have had time to build things in the past and they, they've chosen not to or haven't done that and now we're at, their, we're at the river's peril. We're being told this is some critical infrastructure to save the town, but, I mean, how are you feeling, you know, is it a case of just being on the wrong side or is it a case of you feel forgotten? Uh, on the, on, oh, yeah, on, on the wrong side and probably a bit forgotten. Yeah, that's just, I don't know, I, don't, I can't put it into words. It's just, it's, it's just, and it's just a nerve-wracking wait for it to happen. So, um, yeah, we just can't do anything more. We've done the best we can. We've protected our house and we'll stay here until, um, until we, we can't protect it anymore, but we're, we're, we're here for the long haul. There is such a beautiful community here in Echuca. Everyone has been helping out. Marty, I know you've been helping people sandbag as well all throughout the community. Uh, how are you feeling about your place? You know, are you worried? Uh, look, the height's going to be a concern. Um, I've done everything, as, I, as Julie said, I've done everything we can do. We've sandbagged everything. I've installed pumps. I've tried everything. Um, the only disappointing part is we're stranded. We can't, we, we can't even get out. Like if I decide now we run a furniture truck, that's it, I give up, I'm done. Let's load up and go. We can't even get out. We're stuck. Can you tell me about the process? So it was Monday that, you know, we found out this levy was going to be built. You know, how did it all unfold? So I went to the community meeting on Monday and they, we were told point blank that uh, we're building a levy bank and it's going to be built uh, on this thing and some people will be uh, in the wrong... Well, they didn't say the wrong side. Some people were the other side of the levy and that was us. And uh, we were all sitting together, a lot of us from this area, and we just looked at each other and um, I think I burst into tears. It was, yeah, it was just... That was a very emotional day. It was, um, yeah, it was just up and down and you just thought, well, oh, OK, we've got to do what we can do, come back here and, and do what, put into place what we can and uh, we'll go from there. You say you burst into tears. I mean, what's it been like in this community? Because all your neighbours are beautiful people. Yeah, no, there's been there's been moments where we've had to go and have a meltdown and you think, well, you know, is it worth continuing, you know, staying here and whatever? But we keep coming back and uh, we get together every night, if we can, on the, on the, on the dry land at the moment because it is beautiful and sunny and it is dry. Um, and we get together and we have a bit of a debrief and, uh, yeah, and, and that support is just really um, amazing. Yeah. It's so important, isn't it? It is. It is so important. And tell me about the plan moving forward. I guess, you know, there's a lot of people walking around saying it's going to be Thursday, Sunday, Saturday. You know, how are you feeling about the Murray is creeping? We can actually see it. If Ben spins the camera around just to the left, guys, we can actually see that water starting to come up to properties. We've seen it lapping up at a number of properties here. Uh, what's your concern for the weekend? Um, well, there's, there's no official thing. There's no one that can tell us. They, they haven't talked to the local people that have been here for 30 or 40 or 50 years. And we're all guessing. It's all guesstimation. Um, hopefully the levy is high enough. If it comes to the point they're saying, it'll be 100 mil below my floor level. If they're out by 100 mil, it's inside the house. And once it's inside the house, it's over. And once it's inside ours, it's inside everybody's because council said this is the height to build to to be safe. They've made this decision to build it here. You know, how do you wish it would have played out? Um, if they built the levee behind those houses and like they were going to do a number of years ago because having the levee there would be a great bicycle path and recreational path to enjoy the forest at all times of the year. And um, hopefully after this, they take that dirt and they put it the other side 
build a levy bank, a proper levy bank, and make that a, 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 um, something for the whole community to use. Um, and maybe, yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Just to wrap up, guys, I mean, how would you describe the feeling in the community on this side of, I guess, the wrong side of this levy? How would you describe the feeling in the community at the moment? Everybody's disappointed, upset. We're scared. And like, for me to say that, that means something. Um, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but, yeah, it's... But we're here for each other and we will see it to the end. I think that's that's the important part. We'll do it together. So that's how are you nice. holding up, though, Marty? I've had a meltdown the other morning. Um, yeah, it's it's hard, and I I haven't cried for forty years. <laughs> no. But yeah, I yeah, I don't know. You work hard all your life. You buy a nice house to retire into, and and then the council say you're not worth saving. Yeah, it's just hard. But we're, we're here for each other and we've got each other and that's the main thing and we'll go, we'll go forward from there. Thanks so much for speaking to us, guys. It is incredibly difficult this morning and I have to say, this entire street, so many beautiful people, they've been making us coffees while we're here sharing their story. You know, they're facing so much stuff. It is incredibly hard, guys. We're going to stay with it. We're going to keep talking to you, but thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank Back thank to you, guys. You. Wow, that was powerful, isn't it? You work hard your whole life. You save up, you do the right thing, and then no one cares about you. Well, you know, it's more than that. Um, and what we saw there, and terrific work from Ben, um, is his camera j just pointing out where the water is. They don't, there's no information for them. They don't know what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, and, and the reality is the councils these days are too concerned with barking dogs and green frogs to get actual action done for their people. This could have been solved years ago. In the 90s. And now we have people in this community, on this side of Echuca, who are living mm. water torture. Mm. It's and their just... house is built to a level, exactly what the t council said, to ensure that if there was a flood, they'd be OK. And they change the rules and they do this and you devastate people's lives. Get yourself together for a class action. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, this is horrible for those people that have to live through that. Morning. Community spirit has taken a serious hit in flood-affected towns across Victoria. And it's all because of this. A flood levy built to stop the threat of the rising Murray River, which comes at a serious cost. In yellow is where the flood levy is being built. In green, the homes that could be saved. In red, homes that will be damaged when the river rises. Residents like Nicholas Dean and Gerard Ryan devastated by the knowledge their homes could be inundated. Unfortunately, we're the sacrificial lambs out this side and... We'll just have to wait and see what happens to us. We're now, we're now in the lap of the gods and we don't know what's going to happen until the water comes. Team coverage this morning. First, Isabella Stavskowski in Echuca. Is a good morning to you again. Residents are divided, literally divided, by this flood levy. Yeah, they are, Carl. Good morning to you. I'm standing now in Shelley and Peter's backyard. They've got a beautiful home they've lived in for a very long time and we are standing on what's been dubbed the wrong side of this levee. I'm going to take you over here and you can see the water creeping up to their backyard. Good morning, guys. How are you feeling this morning being told you're on the wrong side? We'll be fine but anxious. Very anxious. Mm -hmm. It's um, The 93 level is probably about where my foot is and it's expected to be 800 mil above that, which is my hip level here. So our house was built to 96 AHD, so the correct levels, and most of the houses are, but the ones around the corner and a couple down here, they'll have water through them for the first time since probably 1870. I've put many houses here then. So. That levy is just outside your home. You know, how do you feel looking at that? You didn't really get, get much say in it, did you? No, it's not. Like no, we're just, we were just told it was going to happen. After the floods in the mid-70s, which are pretty big in 93, council had funds to run the levy, that levy bank on top of where they'd done and around the back of these houses and around the back of the others there. So we would have all been on the inside and protected the filtration plant, but um, didn't happen. And hopefully it'll happen next time. Don't want to go through this again. And talking to some of the other residents on your street, they say they feel like they've been cut off from their community. They're saying the guys there are doing a great job. They understand they need, that that needs to be built. That's critical infrastructure to protect the town and protect other homes. But how are you feeling this morning, you know, being, being here and being told, well, you're on the wrong side? Well, we had a, a little town meeting 
us cut off people here last night. We'll do the same again while we can. Yeah, we are cut off, and it does feel as though we've been sacrificial lambs. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay and, and protect your home, help the neighbours? A lot of people have evacuated. We'll stay for as long as we can and help other people in the street as much as we can and just cross our fingers that it doesn't get as high as they predict. Yeah, some neighbours have taken their kids to the grandparents or, you know, family. But, yeah, no, we'll hang around as long as we can. I think we'll be right. There's a lot of good community spirit still here, isn't there? You know, even the fact that you've got this meeting, you're banding together, you're trying to do what you can. Oh, I think the whole community, the ones sandbagging and doing all the other work, fabulous job. Just brilliant. Yes. Are you guys OK? Are you holding up? I'm hanging in there, a bit stressed, yeah. Yes, yes everybody's stressed and stress Very levels are age. different. Yeah. yeah. So have a few beers and a chat to the neighbours inside the wall. We'll be right tonight. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for you Thank guys. You. Really appreciate you Thank speaking you. to us this Thank morning you. on the Today yes. Show. But and that, that is the thing, Carl. It's this emotion here from so many residents who are having to wake up looking at this water. Usually, as we've been saying, this is completely bone dry and they're now facing the prospect that this water is still going to continue going up. Today, it's thankfully, there's not going to be that rain today. However, that is still to come. So we're expecting over the coming days a big deluge to hit parts of northern Victoria and we're also expecting the river uh, at the Murray to keep on rising. So the threat level still to to come and these guys just looking out at this water that is coming so close to their home. And so slowly, it's like death by a thousand cuts watching that come up for them, isn't it? And for them to say that um, inside the wall, it's like they're in a prison um, waiting mm. for the most awful of things. Uh, Isa, we'll come back to you soon. Appreciate it. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please. I don't know. <laughs>